hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm gonna show you a new functionality a new improvement uh, i've made to mesh morpher which allows us to create a full body mesh uh, uh, a full body bone snapshot for uh, metahuman meshes so we are creating a bone snapshot for both uh, body and head morph targets right in order for this to happen and uh, to work correctly uh, you can see i have a beast morph target on uh, the head mesh and uh, beast uh, morph target on uh, the body mesh right uh, both morph targets uh, on both meshes have to uh, have uh, the same name right uh, otherwise uh, uh, this uh, will not work you if they don't have the same name you would have to do it individually like before right so let's uh, let's uh, open uh, poser and uh, let's bring uh, the body in poser and just uh, to the side panel here let's add our uh, head mesh in the reference mesh uh, uh, option here and uh, now we can uh, select our morph target and click on uh, to bone snapshot uh, you will see that uh, we have here a new option include reference mesh this will allow uh, mesh morpher to create a full body bone snapshot uh, let me let me uh, show you with an, another uh, what happens when you don't have uh, uh, the morph target on both meshes. If you click on uh, this new morph target and on to bone snapshot, that option won't appear here, right? So well, you know you have it uh, correctly when you have include the reference mesh uh, appearing in the option uh, panel and uh, it's enabled as well right you can uh, you can disable it if you disable it you will have to do it individual for uh, both meshes if you keep it enable it uh, enabled uh, uh, it will create a full body bone snapshot right so let's uh, get started i'm gonna leave the start bone root since this is a full uh, body bone snapshot we don't have to select uh, spine uh, 0 05 for the head or whatever right we will just go with the root bone and uh, we will leave the defaults. Uh, the defaults are usually what works uh, best in, in all cases, right? So for particular cases, you want to play with uh, these options. So maybe you add ignore bones or whatever, you know. But uh, for most cases, the default options are uh, what it goes. So I'm going to press OK. And uh, here, uh, it's going to ask me uh, to pick a location. And I'm going to go with full body, right? So I can easily identify it. So now that uh, the bone snapshot is created, uh, what we can do is open it. We will open this uh, bone snapshot on both meshes and uh, click on update from pose, right? We, we will uh, select our morph target and click on update from pose. And now we can wait. Let's, uh, let's do this for the body first. And now we can go ahead and do the same for the head, right? Uh, we will select the full body uh, bone snapshot, select our uh, morph target, and update from pose. Okay, now we, uh, we just enable it and bake it. After each bake, don't forget to recompute the normals for your meshes and uh, select first the head and then the body. And uh, the same here, the defaults uh, should be fine in uh, most cases. And just press OK. Now that everything is baked and uh, we have uh, also recomputed the normals, Let's uh, drag uh, the metal human into the world and uh, let's uh, check it out. So this is it. Uh, this is our metal human. Uh, this is a uh, full body uh, skeleton uh, uh, fitting, and uh, yeah, everything is baked, and uh, we're ready to to move forward. Uh, thank you for watching this video, guys, and uh, see you around. Bye.